Good evening, Gulf Coast Independent Wrestling fans. Welcome once again to another fantabulous edition of the Front Row Finex. I'm the Gargoyle with my tag team partner, the most interesting man in the world. Cheech. Special guest star, the mullet master, Big Jimmy J, baby. <laughs> Johnson's cast nets in the background for all your fishing needs. And here we are at the secret location, finally revealed. We are at the APW Arena on 6510 West Jackson Street. Did I get the address That's right? right. <laughs> oh my God, I got the address right. So we're going to be doing a review of the show that took place on September 4th, 2011, last Sunday here at the arena. With that being said, most interesting man in the world. Take it away. Uh, this show was actually a pretty exciting show for us as Front Row Fanatics. <clears throat> we've seen a lot of uh, newcomers to APW in general that uh, we've seen at other promotions that was really, really exciting to see. Uh, but they did start the show off with none other than the, uh, the cruiserweight, which is now the bruiserweight champion, Mays, uh, which did go up against one half of the Onyx, Marcus Gibbs, for a non-title match. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> which uh, ended up with some interference from Brian Cage. Who? Uh, yesterday's news. There you <laughs> go. But the interference from Brian Cage was uh, uh, basically Marcus didn't need any help, didn't need anything, you know, for this match. Um, but he did end up. Pop for Mays, <laughs> baby! Uh, did end up getting the win regardless um, with even Brian helping or not. Like I said, he didn't need anybody's help, but he did get the win. Again, it was a non-title match that uh, Brian Cage, for some reason, figured he needed to interfere with. They've got a little bit of a feud going on. Um, I guess Brian's probably upset that his trainer happens to be better than him, um, which, you know, the old saying goes that the uh, student is better than the trainer, but unfortunately, um, not in this case. Wait a uh, minute, wait a minute. I thought you had some man love for Cage. And you, no, and that's you're, you're that's IP Freely. Oh, okay, okay, all right, I'll buy that. I was going to say, you're finally admitting that he's not better than his trainer? Yeah, but uh, he did end up, Mays did, or I'm sorry, Marcus did get the win, which was great, but unfortunately it was a non-title match, so the, be the belt did not change hands. Um, but uh, after the match, or during the match, or, you know, an interference, uh, Cage came in and dropped Mays on his head, and from what I've heard, he actually had to go to the emergency room and get an MRI on his head, um, but apparently, you know, he is okay and able to, uh, I think they are going next week to uh, go up against each other. Hasn't been signed final yet from what I understand, right. um, but definitely uh, definitely was good to see um, Marcus go up against Mays. It's been a while since I've seen Marcus on a singles match. Good to see the Onyx, uh, you know, just kind of venturing out a little bit. Hopefully they will be back together for next week's show and, uh, you know, basically beat the hell out of somebody again. Um, Onyx right Onyx. now for me is hot, you know, and I like watching them team up together. So, um, what did you think of this uh, this matchup with the splitting of the Onyx? Wait, 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 wait. First thing, everybody, we're drinking mullet juice, baby. <laughs> mullet juice in homage of the mullet master. Second, if you don't buy one of these sweet Onyx Pro <laughs> Wrestling Club t-shirts, you suck. That's right. Undisputed <laughs> Onyx, baby. No, I'm sorry, mullet master. You go ahead, brother. <laughs> I thought it was a great match to see some singles action for a change for, for Marcus, like you said. Uh, I still want to see the Onyx together. I think they're the dominant force. I agree. I ABW, agree. And they don't have many tag teams, and I think that's the dominant tag team. Let's see them do some I'm, damage. I, that's right. Do some damage, baby. I'm digging it. I've been a Marcus Gibbs fan for a long time. You know, like you said, it was a, a surprise seeing him in singles action for a change. I'm digging the Onyx. I'm sporting the Onyx colors, baby, you know. And, uh, you know, Brian Cage, what the hell were you thinking coming out there wearing them homo-ass Crocs, man? I should have just jumped over that rail right there and beat your Weasley ass for embarrassing yourself as a so-called professional wrestler walking out there with your ring vest on, a baggy pair of shorts, and some homo Crocs. Cage, you suck End of story. Maze is going to kick your ass. That's all I'm saying for that. He's going to be sorry for the payback on that because, you know, he definitely should not have interfered with that match. And uh, I believe payback is definitely in order. So Maze ain't going to take that lightly, especially having to take a trip to the emergency room over you. Yeah. I feel I sorry waiting, for you, man. I've been waiting to hear from Maze to see how he's doing and stuff. I, I put the word out to contact me and just get, see what he's doing and get a video or something. But 
No uh, luck yet. Hopefully everything is okay. Um, I did see on Facebook that it was nothing major, not a concussion or anything. So uh, maybe next week we will we will see what happens. But I um, think Mays, being the wily veteran and like Mr. Miyagi to little <laughs> Daniel sign there, teacher has not taught you everything, boy, and you're going. That's right. That's right. Um, <clears throat> coming up to the next match after that was uh, team up uh, was a tag team match with Busty Becky and Zoe Monroe versus Kylie Monroe, her sister, and Daddy's little diva Bree. Um, something has caused, if you haven't been following APW recently, but something has caused the twins to split up. As far as exactly what, I'm not sure. Um, I do know that they are definitely mad at each other and going to continue this feud. I would assume for probably. Pff, who knows how long? There's no telling. As mad as they are at each other, uh, there is a little bit of controversy with this match. Um, Kylie took the shirt off, uh, or yeah, took the shirt off of Zoe Monroe, um, basically um, making the referee believe that she was, in fact, Zoe was Kylie, which. It's very confusing. You really need to watch the footing. But bottom, line, b bottom line is bullshit. As I said, <laughs> when Tiny approached me at ringside to be a special guest referee, mullet juice, special guest referee at the next show, which unfortunately, due to my work obligations, I am not going to be able to do. Boo. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really wanted to be in on that action. But front row fanatics footage showed beyond a shadow of a doubt that. Becky and Zoe were cheated. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the T-shirt was still flying up in the air when the referee is <laughs> looking right at it. Come on, dude, man. I could swill a thousand gallons of mullet juice and still would have caught that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the bottom line is the Monroe twins are split down the middle. They're going to have a match with D. Luscious and uh, Cody Monroe against Busty Becky and Zoe Monroe. They're going to try and settle this feud. I don't know who's going to be the guest referee because, unfortunately, as much as I wanted to, sorry, folks, you know, my real job takes precedent. My <laughs> boss said, Gargoyle, your ass got to go to work and you can't go to wrestling. So uh, that's the way that is, you know. They were cheated. Simple. I told her when Tiny put the microphone in my face, we will show the footage. Proof is in the pudding. They cheated. Busty Becky and Zoe were ripped off. Now, it, it was a good plan. Absolutely. I don't feel it was executed as well as it could have been. Um, as far as on video, now the ref didn't see it. I don't know where he was what at the time. What do you mean he didn't see it? The t-shirt was still yeah. flying in his face, man. You know, he, the call was final. The ref did not, you know, did not reverse the decision. Um, so, But the, the thought was great, but unfortunately the execution was lacking, and the referee just... You know, uh, and, and props for Tiny for supporting his referees. Right. He said the decision is final, stand is called. Right. I will give you a rematch at the next show. I was supposed to be a special outside guest referee. Unfortunately, I'm not. The enforcer. Oh, yes, the yeah. enforcer, baby. <sighs> but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. So maybe, Jimmy, you could be the special guest <laughs> referee or something, you know. But uh, all I want is some fairness, man. You know, I, yeah, I, yes, I admit I was cheering for Busty Becky and Zoe, but, I mean, come on. Come now, on. Now, has it been written, uh, is, is Delicious the Divas champ, is she teaming up with Daddy's Little Diva in this? Or no, we she, know she, I, the, I don't know I what she's going to play the part in, but she's gonna, supposed to be here next Sunday. Well, so. I can guarantee you that Delicious, the Divas champ, will not allow these types of shenanigans to go on. So hopefully this will be a good, solid match, and, uh, you know, the right the right team will come out with the win. And as she said, double D ain't my name. It's the size, baby. And if I and if I remember correctly, and, of course, I've been swilling some mullet juice here surprisingly early at the APW <laughs> Arena, uh, it's going to be D Luscious and Kylie Monroe against Busty Becky and Zoe Monroe. So uh, that ought to be an interesting match in the Divas division, which is heating up. Tiny said he was going to give Daddy's Little Diva, uh, you know, the, the week off, let Mama take care of business. She's more experienced in the ring. So that ought to be an, interesting, right. an interesting match 
to say the least. So uh, we'll see what happens here in, in the Divas match. And I, I am excited that there's more women stepping up, you know, in these other promotions as well as APW that are starting to starting to come out and actually put on a show for us because it's uh, it's nice to see some divas every once in a while. Right. So. And there's some speaks of some other ones coming in, so maybe we'll see yeah. some other Ooh, action coming in. Ooh, Mullet Man got the in, <laughs> inside scoop. Bring us some Andrea the yeah, Giant. Yeah, we haven't seen her in quite a yes. while. <laughs> I worship Andrea the Giant. Bring her back. Because I don't want her to chop the shit out of me because that hurt, man. I'm telling you, that hurt. She put some damage on some gargoyle action. Yeah, she did. She did. That brings us up to match number three of the evening, which uh, pitted up Steve Armstrong. Uh, everybody knows who Steve Armstrong is. Ooh. Been in the scene for quite a while. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's you know, a, you know, I'm just teasing. I have nothing but love and respect for the Armstrong wrestling family, man. That's right. Steve Armstrong uh, teamed up in a three-way with uh, DJ Pringle and Aaron Hart, which uh, I can't remember what they're calling themselves off the top of my head. Do you remember what that is? It's, God, I, I can't remember. I do. Too, forgive me for that, but it's uh, one good athletic wrestling guy and a fat dude that needs to wear some tights to cover up the cottage cheese. How about that? I, 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 I know Ricky I Rocket. Fatties. Yeah, Ricky yeah. Rocket. There is you go. I heart fatties, fatties, man. <laughs> T-shirts to be available soon. That's right. So that pitted up Steve Armstrong, DJ Pringle, and Aaron Hart, superstar Aaron Hart. Supernatural. Supernatural Aaron Hart. Yeah. Drink more mullet uh, juice. DDG, Ricky Rocket. <laughs> And Jake Slater, who uh, is a newcomer to APW, but definitely well known along the area here and, and other areas, surrounding areas. Um, this match was kind of uh, Steve was wasn't getting tagged in from the get go. They just kind of ignoring him and and co completely reaching around him to where it was just DJ and Aaron tagging in and out, uh, which you know I thought strange from the get go, which was pretty interesting. When he did finally get tagged in. Um, DJ actually hit him from behind, you know, while he was trying to go up against uh, uh, Ricky Rocket, and uh, all hell broke out from there. And basically, Steve helped Rocket get the pin on DJ for the one, two, three. Um, it was a little confusing. Um, apparently, they've got some bad blood with each other that uh, I was aware, unaware of, um, that I didn't see coming. If, if any, what's the uh, what's the the proceedings from from to, to this point? Do you that you're aware of that brought it to this? I, I think it's all they're saying the management is, is screwing them. So, yeah, and yeah. I, I believe that's where they brought Steve in because uh, to try and screw the tag team. But there you go. Come on, on speak up, Big Daddy. <laughs> Drink some mullet juice, man. This is front row fanatics. Talk loud, walk proud, <laughs> be the man. Let your voice well, be they, heard. They came man. out several I mean, times that, that in the evening to basically ask. Tiny, look, dude, you know, who is our partner for the night? And he didn't tell him until it was pretty much right up until the match. And, uh, of course, you know, he had a trick up his sleeve. I, I think he even looked under the ring once or twice for somebody <laughs> to be under there. But, um, you know, and then he finally did name Steve Armstrong, which, you know, didn't work too well for them. So ought to be pretty interesting. This actually um, set up a match. Um, why don't you go ahead and talk about that, that one coming up next week for the special guest referee was Ricky Rocket. Ricky Rocket's, Ricky so. Rocket's going to call it down the middle. He's uh, he's stepping in. So, let's see who's going to be the Armstrong again, or are we going to see uh, a change in the Armstrong? Well, who who, 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 are the particip be who are the participants in this match? There, men, Mr. Mullet Master. The T I Heart Fatties. Yeah, I <laughs> okay, that's a new tag team name. I Heart Fatties, which is Supernatural Aaron Hart and DJ. Please put some tights on to cover your cottage cheese <laughs> Pringle versus. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's going to be Steve Armstrong. I don't know. I'm not either. Armstrong. I'm drinking mullet juice. I forgot. So I think it's going to be Steve Armstrong and DDG, but that's just from what I remember of Sunday, um, basically going up against these two with the, the special, Rocket being the you know, special guest referee. Calling it down the middle, and, and we'll see from there. Um, you know, We'll see where this feud goes from there because there's no telling with Rocket being a referee where it could go. This is uh, true. This is true. And I want to say one thing, you know, uh, you know, Jake Slater being in here, not a lot of, of people I'm sure here at APW are familiar with Jake Slater. Usually he works the heel yeah. role as uh, in other promotions, but he's a talented wrestler that wrestles all over Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, down in Central Florida too. Normally I'd give him a, hey, grease ball, but, he, you know, he was doing the face, so, I, you know, I kind of had to restrain myself. But, you know, it was good to see APW bringing in more new okay. talent to mix okay. in with the good Absolutely. mixture that they have of local guys, man. So I want to commend the APW Booker and the management for bringing in 
fresh faces, you know. Other promotions are always talking smack about how they're, you know, they're the dominant promotion or they're exclusive or whatever. APW is continuing to bring in fresh faces to go along with their core roster to provide Gulf Coast fans the best show that they possibly can. Yep. And, uh, you know, without holding them to the exclusivity clause. So, yeah, I that's mean. that's right. And, you know, and Jake Slater has wrestled for many promotions that are affiliated with the NWA along the Gulf Coast and surrounding areas as well, yeah. not just within there the Gulf Coast. There you go. Coast, pop so. for the booker. That's right. Travis, <laughs> baby. We give you some pop, baby. That's e right. E-Man. Keep doing what you do. It's working. Uh, Absolutely. I was excited to see Jake Slater. I've, we've seen him recently at uh, uh, NWA Gulf Coast. We've also seen him in Tallahassee wrestle with uh, Bill Weaver. Yes, at the um, Kiefer Classic. Yeah, battle with Bill Weaver. That so was my was, first uh, time seeing Jake Slater in, and I've seen some video footage of him. I heard a lot about him, but uh, I was pretty impressed. I was glad to see him come in, and it was a new face. And Yeah. Yep. It was great to see him. It had a couple of new faces come into, which we'll get to in a little bit. Well, like he's, de he's definitely better as a heel, though. Yeah. Love Jake yeah. Slater. He can bring you know, the heat. He yes. can bring the heat. He <laughs> can crank the flame up <laughs> to a thousand degrees, but. Well, like Gargoyle said, it, it's exciting to see APW management bringing in some new talent in the area that's good quality wrestling. Um, to go up with some of these guys that already for our area are good quality guys too, but it makes them be even better. You know, when you're watching the show, there's nothing better than just watching your favorite star locally be able to perform at a higher level working with better quality, uh, you know, opponents as well. So that's exciting to see. Um, I think what we're going to do real quick is we're going to take a break. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. And we need fresh mullet juice, bathroom break, <laughs> party time. We're here in the APW arena, baby. Woo! <laughs> All pro Bang. wrestling in Pensacola, Florida, every Sunday. Also have a training school. You can reach the owner at 850-485-1005. That is All Pro Wrestling and Training School at 6510 West Jackson Street in the Myrtle Grove area in Pensacola. Make sure you're there every Sunday. APW, doors open at 3 o'clock. Bell time is at four. Be there. Drop the bionic elbow upside your ass, baby. Here we go, APW style. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not trained, but I can still kick your ass, Brian Cage. You suck. All right, Gulf Coast Independent Wrestling fans, welcome back once again to the Front Row Fanax as we continue our review of the last APW show that took place on September 4th, 2011 at the APW Arena at 6510 West Jackson Street. And God dang it, I got the address <laughs> right again. Whoa! I'm here with my tag team partner, the most interesting man in the world, Cheech, and our other good friend, the mullet master, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, baby. So, with all that being said, we're drinking mullet juice. We're having fun, talking trash, walking the walk, and all that other good stuff. And we're going to continue with the review. Cheech, take it away, baby. All right. We left off at the uh, fourth match of the evening, which is an awesome match. If you missed this one, you missed one hell of a match. Uh, <clears throat> APW heavyweight champion Brutal Joe Gibson goes up against Bordell Walker. Uh, <clears throat> This match right here is probably one of the best matches I've seen Joe Gibson in in a long time. Probably not period, but in a long time. This was a good match for APW. Um, really, really was something to see, and if you missed it, shame on you. You should have been here. Uh, Joe ended up actually winning the match with a clothesline from hell, as I call no, it. No, not the clothesline from us. The Irish wake, Yes, baby. the Irish wake, uh, <clears throat> which, like I said, was... Basically flipped him over in a 360 degree circle. Just bam. Oh, goddamn. Wait a minute. Vince McMahon's <laughs> calling me. 
I'm not talking to Vincent, man. I'm throwing Even my from a away. secret disclosed location, I hear you. bothered by these people. I hear you. <laughs> All right, go but, ahead. I'm but sorry. Fordell, basically, from this forearm that Joe Gibson gave him, get, spun around 360 degrees, and just it was just amazing. He flew through the air like somebody hit him with a truck. I mean, the, the guy, it, 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 he's a big guy. And for him to feel the impact of that forearm or that clothesline from Joe was just amazing. Uh, this match from from bell to bell was just hard hitting, a um, lot of action, and something that I haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, we've seen Vordell and other promotions along the coast, and we've been watching Joe Gibson for quite a while. Uh, Gargoyle's been watching Joe Gibson for longer than I have. Um, but this has got to be one of the best matches. It's probably not the best match because there's a lot of good ones from Joe, but the in a long time is the best match that we've seen in a long time. Um, he did keep the belt, uh, still walked out with the champion, uh, which this was hard for me because I like Joe Gibson. I'm a Joe Gibson mark for sure, and I like Vordell just as much, and it was really hard for me to, to, to who to pull for, but the match in general was just an awesome, awesome match. Uh, now, as a newcomer for Vordell to um, APW, what is your thoughts on this match? You know, I'm, I'm not sure that you've seen this type of quality um, in a long time as far as, um, you know, on the Gulf Coast goes. But uh, the, the match was awesome. Um, I'm louder. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, ah, more, more juice, more mullet juice. juice, baby. Come on yeah. now. That's the first time I got to see Vordell work. Um, Goddamn phenomenal. Vince McMahon. Or maybe that's probably <laughs> Triple H calling. Stop calling it. The match was phenomenal, uh, and in my, I haven't seen a lot of matches from Joe other than at APW, so this was the best match I've seen from Joe Gibson, and Bordell just made it click, uh, pops to the, the booking on that. That was that was a great, great match. It really set the bar up, and I don't know how they're going to follow that bar that they've set. But I agree. It, it was top-notch. Uh, that was one match not to miss, for sure. Uh, that, should, that was a main event quality match, for sure. Yes. For me, match of the night, Hands Easy. down. I love I Brutal Joe that. Gibson. You know, I've been following his career since he started. Vordell Walker, a talented wrestler who makes his living as a wrestler. He doesn't play backyard. He doesn't do the do. He is a professional wrestler. That's how he makes his living. I've seen him in, in Mississippi. I've seen him in Tallahassee. I've seen him in Panama City. I've seen him here in Pensacola. I've seen him in Alabama. I've seen Bordell Walker everywhere. He's been in Ring of Honor. He's been in TNA. Bordell Walker is a professional wrestler. And to me, this is the best match at APW, bar none, since I've been coming to APW. So, uh, goddamn Triple H, stop calling me. Is that Dixie Carter? Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. Match of the night, hands down. Love Vordell Walker. Love, uh, love brutal Joe Gibson. And Joe, I love your mama too, baby. She's <laughs> such a sweetie. I wish she'd come back to the shows. You know, hopefully we see Vordell Walker at APW soon. Uh, you know, maybe we can uh, uh, have the uh, luck of seeing a online or an ongoing feud between these two. I would love to see him go at it again and maybe carry on a, a you know a feud between these two. Um, look forward to it. Hopefully. Um, Hopefully, some, you know, management will look into that and see what we can do. Uh, but definitely, definitely for me, match of the night as well. I agree. Uh, which brings us up to the main event of the evening, or maybe even a second main, because that brutal that Joe Gibson and, yeah. and Vordell was to so top good. Hard to that, man. Yeah, Hard to top absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, we've got Road Dog Jesse James and Nathan Crown teaming up with Nathan Crown going against Jaden Matthews and Alex Matthews. Which I've never seen Alex Matthews before. Uh, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't we see some other uh, intra-promotional people popping up here uh, at APW, man? I mean, oh, yeah. did, did, we, did we not have some footage or photos of some of them, you know? Uh, yes, there were some sightings here. Yes, yeah, some uh, sightings. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Gargoyle is not afraid to call it like I see it, baby. So uh, we saw some uh, people from the self-proclaimed Best right. promotion on the Gulf the Coast here. Exclusive promotion. That's right. Exclusive <laughs> promotion on the Gulf Coast here. And we'll provide video or photo footage of those individuals here. Anyway, that's right. That's the way I roll because <laughs> I ain't afraid of no heat. 
I call it as I see it, and that's the way it is, baby. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to that's cut you right, off. That's right, that's right. I, I forgot about that for a minute. But, yes, we will show some sightings of the exclusive members of an exclusive promotion here on the Gulf Coast. Um, but this match, I, I haven't seen Alex Matthews before. Uh, he did team up with Jaden Matthews, which was a perfect match as far as that goes. Um, Road Dog and Crown really did work together well as, as well in this match. Um, but Alex. things didn't go so well for the old Matthews brothers, I guess, or crew or whatever. Whatever, Alex Matthews, Matthews sisters. you <laughs> suck. That's all I got to say. You suck. I give Jaden Matthews a hard time. Kid Matthews, whatever you want to call him. Jaden. Yeah. Yes. The, Mr. Emo Boy, whatever. <laughs> Get rid of your guy liner and all that other bullshit, yeah. you know. I give him a hard time, and I give him, you know, props when props are due. Jaden Matthews definitely outperformed you in this match. And if Mr. Alex Matthews decides to show back to APW, bring your balls and show me something, boy, because <laughs> you sucked. That's my personal opinion. End of story. Don't blame Mullet Master. Don't blame Cheech. <laughs> this is just a gargoyle talking to you. You <laughs> sucked, and you better be toting Fordell and Jake Slater's bags better the next time we see you. Za. Now, who who came out as Jaden and uh, Alex's uh, valet for that match? That was the Bust Delicious one. That's right. Busty Becky. Uh, Busty Becky uh, worked with them two together to uh, form a, a, a baby powder tactic that unfortunately backfired uh, yeah, for them and uh, ended up Road Dog and Nathan Crown got the win due to the shenanigans of that uh, backfiring on them, um, which was actually uh, caught by my surprise. I was actually looking down, and when I looked up, I saw nothing but a cloud of dust in the ring, and uh, before you know it, it was You're over. Becky, so. you? <laughs> well, who was it? I was looking for my binoculars to get a closer <laughs> look is what I was doing. Uh, but it did backfire on them, and uh, Road Dog Nathan Crown did end up with the win, which, you know, I really didn't expect anything less. Well-deserved so, win. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Got a holics. That's right. That's but, right. Uh, and a seven-time WWE champion with wrestling royalty, Nathan Crown. You would think any different. You know, hey, yep. Becky, you can do better than them losers you were with, man. That's right. Need to think God about. damn it. <laughs> I'm going to smash my phone. Vince McMahon, Dixie Carter, <laughs> Triple H, stop calling me! <laughs> All right, so that being said, the overall show w was really a good event. I mean, we had a lot of fun. Um, let's go through everybody, and uh, let's, let's pick match of the night and then runner-up for this. You for go me, ahead first. For me, match of the night had to be Verdell Walker and Brutal Joe. That was a phenomenal match. By far the match of the night for me. Uh, runner-up for me, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of a toss-up. Uh, Probably go with the Mays match. I, I pop for Mays on that. I like I like Mays and, and seeing uh, Marcus Gibbs in some single action. Maybe runner up uh, is kind of dead even on the rest of them. But okay. Well, so I'm I'm, da I'm damn sure going with Vordell Walker and Brutal Joe Gibson as the match of the night without a doubt. Uh, and I would also have to agree with. Uh, Buy your Onyx T-shirts, ten dollars a piece, baby. <laughs> Undisputed. Right. Marcus Gibbs versus. Uh, uh, Mr. Bays in a non-title match and Cage and your gay Crocs and your <laughs> go home. I hate you, Cage. You suck. I want to see you bleed. Well, we're definitely in agreement for match of the night. Uh, you know, Brutal Joe Gibson versus Fordell Walker was definitely match of the night, uh, if not match of the month, possibly. Uh, you know, in my opinion, um, definitely went went. You know, an awesome match. Uh, but I'm gonna go a little bit different. Uh, believe it or not, on my runner-up match, I'm going to have to go with Busty Becky, Zoe Monroe versus Kylie Monroe and Daddy's Little Diva. And the reason why is you don't see very many Divas matches or women's matches here on the Gulf Coast, and this one worked out pretty well. Even though there was some shenanigans, overall it was a well-thought match. Incompetent uh, refereeing, so. <laughs> and I'm sorry I got to work and can't right the wrong that was done to the Bust Delicious One and Zoe Monroe. So Busty Becky and Zoe Monroe, from my opinion only, great job. Keep it up. Let's get some more W's in the in this. So it was awesome. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. What? Who? Not I, up, I was just going to say. Let's Wait, see shit. Hey, how, how come I don't have no mullet juice, man? <laughs> how come I don't have no mullet juice? Uh, hey, hey, where's, where's my aid or assistant? No, anyway, seriously, <laughs> APW runs every Sunday at 6510 West Jackson Street here 
where we are at, at the APW Arena. Come out and see all the great APW superstars. You can see WWE Hall of Famer, Bullet Bob Armstrong. You can see the seven-time WWE Tag Team Champion, Road Dog. You can see Steve Armstrong, Scott Armstrong, talents like Vordell Walker, Jake Slater, plus your regular APW superstars, wrestling royalty, Nathan Crown, uh, City of Five Flags Champion, Ricky Rocket, Monica, <laughs> on you anyway. Uh, you can see the Onyx. Marcus Gibbs, yeah. baby, undisputed. Terry Allen Jones. Uh, uh, I love. Uh, wait, hey, I heart fatties. <laughs> I heart fatties. Air, 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 Supernatural. Aaron Hart and DJ Pringle. You can see Jaden Matthews. You can see DDG. You can see. Um, oh my God! Come on, somebody help D me Luscious out. Luscious is coming back. This oh, right. double, D, double D. Luscious, not her baby. name. That's the size, baby. D Luscious. You can see the Monroe twins fighting in opposite Tupac. corners. Tupac, uh, once again, got to pay homage to the Bus Delicious one. Bucky, ba 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 more juice. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, the Bus Delicious one, Busty Becky Kennedy, buy those awesome hot pictures she's got at the gimmick <laughs> table, baby. You know, APW, hot wrestling action. Got it going on here weekly every Sunday at Pensacola. Doors open at 3. Show starts at 4. I'm... I, I got to buzz. I got to leave. I got to get some more beer. So I'm going to leave it to the mullet master and cheats. See y'all later. See you in the front row. Gargoyle's got to go. Ah! <laughs> Yo, this weekend coming up is 9-11 on Sunday. What better way to spend Patriot Day, which is now nationally known as Patriot Day on 9-11, than coming and seeing some APW wrestling? Why not, right? Uh, Jimmy... What, what do we have up and coming? I know you don't have a lot of information, but you do Not have some information that's I, coming up in the future. I know here. we have the uh, the New Age Outlaws, well, yes. the Badass Billy Gun, and the Road Dog Jason James coming uh, what, the 17th? I believe that is, September 17th. 17th. Yes. Uh, that's going to be one to one to check out. Um, I hear there's going to be some other people popping in in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I haven't got word of exactly who's going to be here, but we may see some new faces or see some faces we haven't seen in a long time pop up. That would be good. Along with the regular crew that we have here that's, that's here week after week putting on a good show all right all right well fans definitely be sure to check out apw they do run every sunday the doors open at three o'clock bell time is at four o'clock check out gulfcoastwrestling.com for any other promotions that are running along the gulf coast check out frontrowfanatics.com uh you know just to kind of keep up with everything that's going on and with that being said from me and jimmy johnson we'll see, see you in, in the, the front, front row, row.